going on, YouTube? It's your man, he does some tires on Tire Mac, man. So, man, I just wanted to touch real quick basis on the air intake, man. It's dope. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, throttle response, y'all, I was talking about yesterday. I mean, it's a lot more aggressive, a lot more uh, responsive. 3,000 RPMs at three grand, this thing really kicks in. The boost kicks in around 3,000 RPMs, basically what I'm saying. When it kicks in, you know it. And that's a regular drive. If you put it in sport mode, you really know you're in sport mode. This thing takes off like a fucking rocket. Um, zero to 100 are around less than 12 seconds. Um, I'm going to show you real quick what I'm running in here. So I'm cleaning the injectors. Let me show you. What I use right here is that Tetron. This is also for JDM cars. This is what I use to clean my injectors. Uh, Cherry Bomb is at 99,151 original miles. This engine is in perfect shape. I'm also getting my uh, next oil change, and I run full synthetic in here, Valvoline. That's the oil I use for her engine component, components, and she doesn't run on regular oil. She runs uh, premium top-level Valvoline synthetic is what she runs. So, yeah, this is what I'm about to put in sometime today or tomorrow. That's what I use to clean my injectors, and it works. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you all one more time, so I know you all probably want to look. So yeah, man. Um, the car is just running dope, man. Um, I couldn't be more happy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, there's more mods to come. I got my carbon ceramic. I keep saying carbon fire. My carbon ceramic brakes are gonna be um being put on next. I got the right set of carbon ceramic uh to cross and slide it and drill rotors to match the already carbon ceramic brake pads I got down there. Um, so look out for that. That's going to be dope. Uh, Godspeed is going to do my suspension. Shout out to Waukegan Tire, man. They did an awesome job, and they're going to they agree to do all my mods. Um, and so you have to know when you go to these places, they're not insured with the mods. So make sure you go somewhere you can trust them, and they're going to do a good job. They don't break that shit, and just know that you don't have a warranty on your modded parts take them to these places where you choose. Make sure you choose a place you can trust, and the guy's really going to do an awesome job for you and put the shit on by the directions that each each mod part come with. So, and read your five print when you order your mod. Do your due diligence and your research. Um, so, I'm really happy about it, man. Um, zero to 60, man, I don't know. Just to put it out there, because I haven't took it to the dyno or nothing. That ain't going to happen until later on when this thing is fully done. I don't know, it's fast. Go to 60 fast. And I took it on the tollway with my family. Call it crazy. It was like, damn. Um, the exhaust note is crazy, even on a stock exhaust. So imagine when I get to, I'm either going to go stilling or boiler. I said stilling, but I might go boiler because boiler does some things for JDM as well. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the cat back. This is such a good exhaust. All, the OEM exhaust is actually really good. So probably what I'm going to do is just take out the muffler and replace that with boiler, because you can do that. So the mid-pipe and the catalytic converter pipe that goes to the catalytic converter in the mid-pipe section is going to stay OEM, but then I can connect the, the boiler exhaust that just wells right on. Boom. And, and I'm in with the black tips out. I probably got to have put custom tips on there, but that's cool. So I want the space to be filled in with black. And more of a aggressive look, but stay tuned for that soon, because with that, 
and that's going to add like 25 more horses on top of the already powers. This thing coming 185, brand new stock. I'm in the 200s now, easy. Um, I do have all my original OEM parts. I had them put it back in the box in case I want to re reinstall the OEM. So I have all my um, components that's OEM still. So if y'all asked about that, um, I have that. The throttle response on the accelerator is harder, so it's just crazy. Um, I'm really happy about it, man. It's nuts, man. A guy pulled up me in, like, I don't know, same category as mine uh, as far as tuner style. I think it was a Chevy Cobalt, like an early 2000 model. And he tried to run me. I have my family in the car, mind you, so I'm more in weight. So I ain't seen nobody in the car with him, but if he did, he probably was just him in the passenger. I had a family of this family of four of us, my son, my daughter, my wife, and me. And I pulled off on that chump like one shit. You know how it go. When you got a nice car or you got something decent, people want to race you, you know what I mean? But especially nowadays, people run. People out in these streets that drive so crazy. But a lot of tailgating and shit. But I just wanted to let y'all know, man, very happy with the air intake, man. We're going to do some more um, test runs on it, you know what I mean? I'm going to let you know what it is. Um, about to get an oil change on Cherry Bomb. I got to do a um, wheel alignment on her. She's just a little off. So I got to do a toe in, toe out. Get her wheels aligned. Um, I haven't forgot about the rims. Don't don't even trip. You know, man? Don't even trip. We're going to get back up to the uh, Custom Crusader. Excuse me. We're gonna get, hopefully, we can get CJ 30, on 32s up there or Stunner Reach. They always be up there. You know, man? Uh, they had a car event they was at that day, or they would have been there. But Al was there, though. Al was there, though. I know we did chop it up with Al for a little bit. Um, but, yeah, man, I'm happy about it, man. Uh, oh, man, like a blue blue jay just landed on my top of my um, my mailbox. Pretty bird, too. It's a blue jay. Anyway. I just wanted to give y'all an update on what I really felt about the air intake, man. I mean, it's, it's I'm just so happy, man. Everything's happening, man, for the channel, man. That's a blessing, man. Because I've been waiting to pull this trigger for a while, and now I got it. So it's all happening, man. So when the finished project happens, most of this shit will be done by next year, finally. You know, because you got to understand, you know, I'm doing this as a family, man. I'm not doing this as a single, man. Because most of your YouTubers that are big are single. Or they up there, they're not married. They got girlfriends. They're not married, or they just got a bunch of women. Like they're not married. You know what I mean? Like I got a, a whole family, dog. You know what I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, I ain't gotta say all that, but you can fill in the blanks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you tell I take care of my family. You tell also I'm into my family, into my, into my family, my family role. So that that comes first. You know, but a strong second is tires on tarmac. That's my passion. Cars, rocking with y'all, making content, uh, making it better. Um, working on better equipment, better vlogging, you know what I'm saying? I got work to do, I know that, but the content is decent, man, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to get more. And that's another thing. I got my CDL yesterday, if y'all ain't really watched the other videos. So I'm happy about that. It's been a great weekend, man. So, And I'm on my way to owning my own truck, so uh, which is going to allow me, I'll be making three times the amount of money, you know what I mean? So um, fucking chipmunk over here by my doorstep. Anyway, uh, it's going to allow me to put more money in tires on tarmac for better equipment and all that. But, you know, that's either there. We're going to do balls on that, too, when I upgrade. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm happy about the mod. It's crazy how the, how how this thing runs. And when you mash on it, it's just ridiculous, man. Um, deeper your throat or throatier sound, the exhaust note is doper. So when I put the uh, – I'm probably going to go with boiler. I think Boiler has an extreme sound one. I'm going to put the extreme on here, the mufflers. And then it's going to save me money, too. It's going to save me money instead of doing a whole catback system, which would be dope. Which would be dope. I don't know y'all. Y'all probably but like, do the whole joint. I got to be smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a lot of other shit to my house, too. I'm doing a lot of upgrading projects to my crib, too, at the same time. So I want to be able to have money for that and for tires on tarmac. So. We're gonna do the. We're gonna probably do the. Most likely do just the muffler, but just wait. You're gonna see that it was worth doing it. That then the whole catback system originally, like I was gonna do, um, and saving money is still gonna be an awesome, uh, awesome decision. Um, like I said, man, um, 
when I do that, man, you really going to hear the full effect. This thing is going to be crazy. It's going to have that foreign sound, but that awesome muscle car sound to it. But this air intake makes the accelerators even harder. And, um, this is dope, man. This is dope, man. But like I said, man, uh, more mods coming, man. I got some coming within the next week, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get them wheels before I actually even go start start trucking again, which is going to be still a few more weeks. But um, if not, I'm going to get them before the first snow. And we're going to do that vlog. Because it don't snow like it used to be in the Midwest as often. It don't snow till like, later on to, like, the, the following year, like, it's January, late January or February. That's when it start really snowing out. But it'll be a little colder, but I'm going to put them on. And then what they're going to do is spray paint them. Not spray paint. They're going to protect them. They're going to put a clear coat on them. And what that is is going to protect them from the salt, rain, and snow, and all that. Um, but, you know, we're going to do a vlog on that, man. And, um, yeah, because I'm going to pull the trigger on the rims. I know y'all really like that. And plus, y'all really see Cherry Bomb and in it, it more and more of his glory when you see the wheels on it. Because it does need wheels. You know, these, these got the stillies on there. You know, I repainted them. Got them clean. Um... That vlog is already up on my channel when I did that. Um, it looked clean and stuff, but they still, they said, oh, they're original. So it does need wheels. So and it also perfects the performance of the vehicle. And I got this, I'm starting to do my performance mods now. I don't want my wheels rolling uneven or anything like that. That affects the performance of the vehicle and my times when I get ready to take it on the track. The, the wheels I'm actually picking out are performance wheels. They're also beautiful. They're chrome. I wasn't going to go chrome. I was going to go deep dish black, but I'm going to go chrome. Cause it really ties in good. Check out that short vlog, and you can see it also on my Instagram. Um, on my Instagram, TOT tires on tarmac, TOT pallet, TOT. So check my Instagram out too. That link is on my uh, channel. When you uh, look off to the side, you'll see it. Click that and join my Instagram. Check me out and the other things too. Also, you know what I mean. But they also performance wheels, too, for the track. And the tires that I'm going to have uh, Al put on there is going to be for the track, too, all season, of course, and it's going to be for the track. So, you know, I'm an Illinois boy. We get all four seasons, so you got to do that. Um, and, you know, just so I can I take this as a daily. This is my daily driver as well, but it's just going to be all around. If I want to go to Walmart with the family, get ice cream, or if I'm, like, dropping y'all off and hit the track, you know what I mean? I'm ready to kick some ass on some times, you know what I mean? So, this this is gonna be that car. If I just want to go to a car show and stunt, and pull up, it's that too. You know what I mean? You know. Stay tuned. We're gonna really trick this motherfucker out, man. And we're really gonna have it really fly. It's gonna be one of the dopest, if not the dopest, in Lake County. You know what I'm saying? Illinois, definitely one of the dopest in the nation, you know what I mean? Um, but as you with me on this field, man, I appreciate all y'all, man. I'm gonna rock with y'all soon, man. Do some more vlogs on the air and take, man. Got love for all y'all, man. Stay sucker free, man. Stay positive. The shit does work, man. I can't even count all the blessings from 11 months ago, almost pretty much dead, to now. How great, how great my King, the Lord Jesus, is. But then also just my life in general. And uh, I appreciate all the ones who've been with me, ride or die all day, my riders. And I'll talk to y'all real soon, man. Peace.